there's an interesting phenomena when people start eating clean and they start eating lots of greens, leafy greens, veggies, uh, reducing excess sugar, dairy, alcohol, things like that. And sometimes people become more bloated, lower energy, they might even get uh, some brain fog. And you know, then sometimes people think, well, I was healthier, healthier before, what's going on? And there's some interesting uh, details that are happening. I mean, many times we change our diet, we're literally impacting our microbiome. And in big changes, sometimes it creates some tumultuous uh, adventures in the gut where the microbiome isn't keeping up with the new foods and therefore creating a lot of dysbiosis and gas and indigestion even at times. <clears throat> the other things with greens, they tend to have, especially things like spinach kale, they tend to have a lot of oxalates. And in a damaged gut, in a damaged microbiome gut, which often gets damaged with antibiotics and excess sugar, excess alcohol, things like that, then those oxalates don't break down properly. <clears throat> and in doing that, it tends to create inflammation in the gut. So there sometimes can be quite a transition and <clears throat> there are things that we can do to support that transition. What I find is people hang in there, this is why we do the 28 day cleanse, sometimes a nine week cleanse, because it really gives people time to make that transition and thus uh, ultimately coming out the other side feeling really, really good. So thanks so much for that and hope that was informative and take care of a great day.